hello guys uh, so after so many days i am going to make um, a review about msi laptop which is gl65 leopard uh, this is 10th generation core i5 uh, from the intel and it is pretty much powerful processor um, you can call it like maybe 8th generation core i7 is equivalent to this uh, core i5 uh, 10th generation and it has uh, graphics also nvidia gtx 1650 yes 1650 uh, gtx nvidia uh, graphic card it has and uh, it is 4 gb dedicated video memory okay so we are going to talk about first the appearance of the laptop and the build quality and then we will move on to the performance okay let's talk about the appearance so uh, the keyboard is uh, actually just like the evo gaming laptops if you have uh, ever seen those um, laptops from the evo company like lp5 lp4 so uh, their keyboard was also same like this one but this is from steel series uh, and the command center uh, that controls the rgb uh, lights of this it is also from the msi company uh, and what else does this uh, laptop has uh, apart from the keyboard it is like chiclet like not noisy nice and you know the strong keyboard and uh, the laptop body this one is uh, like uh, plastic made yes this is plastic uh, plastic from here but the top cover of this laptop is aluminium built if you can see um, this is aluminium body so if you don't have uh, any good electricity art uh, area then this uh, uh, top cover gives like on the charging cable attach it, it gives like little electricity uh, feeling if you touch it uh, this is like a disadvantage of uh, having aluminium body but uh, in other hand this aluminium body gives like a strong build because it does not get broken it gets like dent on the body but don't get broken very early and uh, if you will see here on the left side of the laptop it has uh, some ports and the fan vent here and this one here also fan vent uh, actually it has uh, dual fans which is nice for each of the cpu and the gpu okay so here is one firewire usb3 and usb c port and one mic and one headphone jack hdmi lan port here on the other side like on the right side it has this is the uh, cable area for the charging and usb 3.02 ports here and memory card here, which is very useful for the people who are working for the cameras like photo shooting etc they copy the stuff from this um, uh, socket here and the you can see the screen is also narrow bezel very narrow, narrow you know uh, not like old model laptops very thick coming like this but this model has very thin bezel and it is also full HD but the hertz of the screen is not so very much uh, it's just normal like 60 hertz i was expecting to have like 144 hertz but uh, it's good enough because uh, the quality of the screen like coloring and everything is perfect no any issue with that uh, it is very narrow very thin lcd you can see and what else okay let's move on to the performance level uh, it is like um, Core i5 which I already told you it is 10th generation and 10th generation used to have uh, uh, how many cores it used to have I think uh, 4 cores 
yeah four logical cores it has this one and logical processor like threading it which is nice because uh, this level of the processing was coming in Core i7 I think sixth generation yes and seventh generation till seventh generation after eight it became like twelve logical processors and the cores were like six and L3 cache is also at MB which is nice just like Core i7 so pretty nice. Uh, about the CPU like you can see it is going like 4.24 uh, speed for the processor wow nice turbo boost uh, you know basic speed is only 2.4 2.5 gigahertz okay and the memory is 8 GB although I'm going to upgrade it to 16 GB DDR4 but right now it is only 8 GB which is also enough for the games and the disk drive is NVMe from the Kingston company and Wi-Fi is very nice Wi-Fi 6 yes Wi-Fi 6 they put in this GL65 Leopard Wi-Fi 6 is very fast uh, like uh, you can use this um, 5G connection it gives more than like 50 MB in my uh, in my internet like router speed which is good like if I will connect the normal uh, connection not 5G like 4G maybe so it gives like only 12 MB speed or like maximum 20 MB but when I connect to the 5G it goes like 50 MB Okay, so this is the graphic card. If you will see this NVIDIA G4 GTX 1650, it is 4 GB, but uh, I was expecting to have it like uh, 4 GB GDDR6, but this is GDDR5 graphic card, and the same model came like this one with TI 1650 TI came with GDDR6. So this one has GDDR5 graphics uh, which is uh, like enough for Dota and the Call of Duty games like this. Okay, so right now I am downloading the Dota 2. I am going to make video on that Dota 2 also. Okay, so uh, other than uh, the configuration of the laptop it has very nice uh, cooling fans down there. Uh, they are like has turbo speed button here if you uh, if I remove this packing you can see this fan button if I will press I can listen to the sound of the fans they are like on turbo mode now so when gaming this uh, kind of fan speed really helps out to cool down the processor and the GPU heat and there is a power button here and okay there is camera also you can see very tiny little hole there for the camera camera quality is nice and what they say about this what else like giant speakers sound quality also nice and it has latest dragon center and you can scan to learn more about this pc here okay and the steel series per key rgb it means you can change every key color on the keyboard like if i will run this command center this is the command center dragon center they call it so here you can see all the performance meters available so uh, in this uh, program you can change the colors of the keyboard fan speed and everything like that okay so hope this uh, review is going to help people who wants to like know about this model before buying or even if they have already bought it so maybe uh, this review will uh, unfold so many new features for them 
okay enough for uh, now uh, let's meet in other videos thank you bye bye